I'm Aristotle, and we're back with another episode of Stock Sundays, where we break down a recap of last week's headlines, biggest movers and losers, and if you stay to the end, I will pull out my chart and I will tell you my predictions for the following week. Let's jump straight into the top five things you may have missed. Number one, Tesla had a killer earnings. Earnings per share of 1.19, beating expectations of 1.12, and revenue of 24.3 billion, beating expectations of 24. .12. 1 billion. Tesla will unveil plans to build the 3.5 billion electric semi truck manufacturing facility in northern Nevada. I made about 9k off Tesla. Check the profits. Number two, Amazon. Amazon introduced RS Pass, a new Prime membership benefits from Amazon Pharmacy that provides patients with affordable access to generic medications that treat more than 80 common health conditions for just five dollars a month. Number three, Boeing. Boeing plans on hiring 10,000 workers in 2023. So if you're looking for a job, this would be a great company to keep an eye on. Number four, Chipotle. Chipotle just announced a new hiring campaign in efforts to attract 15,000 new employees in North America for burrito season. Typically it's busiest time of the year from March to May. Number five, Senator Josh Hawley today introduced a bill that would ban TikTok from all devices in the U.S. This will make Meta stock go bananas if this happens, so keep an eye on this. Now, let's jump into our biggest movers and losers of the large cap companies from last week. This video is sponsored by Honey Drip Network. Honey Drip Network is an option trading and sports betting community that is also growing in numerous things that we'll be teaching our community. We have free options and sports betting watch lists, free webinars, free videos, and free trading bots. Link in the description if you're interested in joining this free community so we can show you how to get this money for free. Let's get it. Our biggest movers are Tesla, who jumped up 33%, their biggest week since May 2013. Shop up 24%, NVIDIA up 14%, SQ up 10%, and Snow up 10%. Our top five biggest losers are Next Terra Energy down 8%, CSX down 6%, IBM down 5%, Merck down 4%, and Intel down 4%. Here are the important data numbers from last week and what to look forward to next week. GDP Momentum. U.S. economic growth remained in solidly positive territory in the fourth quarter of 2022, marking its second positive result after slightly negative numbers in the first two quarters of last year. GDP grew at an annualized rate of 2.9% in the latest period, beating most economists' expectations, easing concerns about the prospects of protracted recession. Inflation easing. The U.S. Federal Reserve preferred gauge for tracking inflation showed a further cooling of price increases. The government reported on Friday that its personal consumption's exponential price index rose at an annual 5% rate in December, down 5.5% in November, excluding food and energy. Prices rose at 4.4% annual rate in the lowest in 14 months. Here is all of the data to look forward to for next week. But the most important is jobs ahead. A labor market update due out on Friday is likely to be most closely watched economic report for the week. Let's get into some of the most anticipated earnings for next week. We have Meta after close. We have Amazon, Apple, and Google after close on Thursday. So Thursday is going to be a big week for QCOM, Starbucks, uh, lots of big name companies, Exxon Mobil. UPS before open on Tuesday, McDonald's, Tuesday, Cat, Pfizer, GM, Spotify. So next week is going to be a nice week of earnings. So that also could play a role in how things will move forward and the price action and everything. So be careful with that. And we have Sophie, uh, lots of earnings coming up. So you guys stay tuned for that. But it's your boy Aristotle. So first thing first that I see is for one, we have broken this down trend line on the S&P 500. SPY, we're looking at SPY here. So if I go in and I go to the weekly chart, we can see a little bit more of that. So as you can see, we broke this trend. 
So what I'm looking for, if I'm being honest, is a slight pullback, maybe a pullback to retest a uh, broken resistance turn support. So I can see us retracing back down here and then possibly bouncing, you know, up for the next bull run. So that's my bold prediction is a retrace back down to broken broken resistance turn support and then pretty much bouncing and going crazy from there so i pretty much see that for everything the next one i'm watching is meta because it is overbought on the rsi which is in this red territory and confluence with a 200 may rejection point so i believe meta will reject in fact i am swinging a little puts and the rest i'm also watching for apple right here at this 200 may so i'm looking for slight pullbacks even with tesla tesla is now in the overbought territory so you know we're going to see if we can get a nice little pullback probably a retest of this support line right here so i'm looking for slight pullbacks uh market wide amazon just broke out but it has earnings we have huge earnings 